Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. So I was just laying here in a more relaxed state in my hammock and I felt like um, speaking and it's feeling like something to do with conscious eating and being able to um, really be mindful of what you decide to put in your body um, and a lot of people have a good idea so in my practice I do see that sometimes it's not about telling people what to eat it's just to really guide them towards such self-love and centeredness that without effort that choice is made so there's that part of it where there's an element of self-love and centeredness within yourself and in a, in a peace within yourself that gives more freedom and ease to choose foods that are naturally more nourishing and healthier for your body so this is something that comes naturally another thing I have noticed is the higher frequency vibration you are the more likely you will automatically choose things that will match that vibration because what will happen is let's say you know you are feeling extremely disconnected depressed um, just not feeling right it, it will be easier to eat something of a low vibration meaning something that could be processed something like consuming alcohol it won't affect you and your consciousness as much as someone who let's say is vibrating on a really high frequency where they um, are super sensitive because they're so aware of all the things within and around them and they've done a lot of healing and the reason I know this because um, um, I used to drink a little bit of wine here and there and I noticed recently like my body completely rejects like I remember the last time like I got a like a really short cold like maybe two months ago and it was right like right after drinking wine for a few days and my body's like hell no we're done with that and like it detox the hell out of it and I was like I've never really had a reaction like that which was really interesting and then any time after that I would have wine it would just not feel right anymore something about it just didn't like I'd end up throwing like if I had like a tiny glass I would drink like a third of it and the rest would be gone I have to throw it out and it would like sit on my counter and I'm like I guess I gotta throw it out because you know so what's interesting is that because I've raised my vibration to a level where it probably hasn't ever been yet now it's rejecting certain things of a lower vibration and it's not that wine is 100% bad but um, for me and my consciousness it is no longer serving it's dampening it and it's a physical reaction that I get now it's not that I'm allergic it's that I physically don't feel right so that is another um, reason and way it, it's actually just a, like a way to get to a place where you no longer have to make an effort to choose consciously because your body your mind your soul will just feel like something's not quite right so there's shadows between uh, my balcony has these the you know the divisions there so it's <laughs> some lines on my face anyways and then um another thing i mean you can also increase the vibration of what you're eating which will help be able to make it more nourishing for your body so if I really wanted to I could have tried to bless the wine and made it a little bit more high vibration 
Um, I chose not to, but like with food, right? Um, if you know, you know, maybe this isn't the healthiest choice right now. You could just give it a bit of good energy, say a few words, like put in love, love into it. And it can shift how it, it, it vibrates in your body. Um, I'm not saying like to do this with if like you really like certain foods that aren't really that great for the body. I don't suggest like doing this so you can eat that food because um, the body still understands that it's like something that's not the most nutritious anyways, but you can definitely help the vibration a little bit there. So, um, but I do know for sure that if you tune in to you and where you feel out of balance, so for some people there's a self-sabotage, there's some people it's a self-nurturing, like, oh, I deserve this. And usually it's easier to reach for something that is a little bit more you know, not like something sweet or something salty or something fatty. Uh, another reason people will reach for that is just because, you know, they make themselves way too busy and no longer eating that a uh, healthier way and preparing food that's healthy is no longer a priority. So um, these are, see, there's many layers because then the busyness an addiction to the busyness is actually another reason for somebody to be avoiding some other issues or like they're having some belief systems of needing to be busy as a sign of purpose, for example. But then it leads to ignoring and um, not nurturing your physical body, which can happen a lot to people. So they eat out and, you know, right? So conscious eating is not only about just making the right choices, it's about releasing these subconscious and usually could be conscious blocks that are preventing you from being aligned with the more high vibrational foods that are naturally high in vibration, not ones that you got to... <laughs> um, you know, put more good energy in. However, it is still good to bless your food and give it some good energy, um, even if it's like a really healthy meal, you know. A lot of people also see these healthy meals as just not as tasty, not as, you know, yeah, they're no fun. So, again, this is conditioning, right? Because we've learned that these sugary, salty, fatty foods um, make us feel good and then what happens is the brain chemicals actually change They're, it's like these these foods are like drugs really and it creates chemical changes so every time you eat it you feel better and then you don't feel good but because that has been programmed now you're like well why would I want that I don't know soup salad and whatever I don't eat meat so something else beans <laughs> Like, why would, why would I want that when I can have, like, you know, a burger and fries and it's so much tastier, right? Or that piece of cake or whatever, right? So what's happening is it's like there's this conditioning there that makes you feel more rewarded and more calm and more happy with the other food. So it's a very deep programming that has occurred. And um, what has to happen is, like... Um, going deep inside and understanding where is it actually coming from? Is it coming from some um, lack of self-love? Is it coming from um, just feeling like a deserving a reward because you work so hard for it? Um, is it coming from a feeling of like self-sabotage because you feel like, well, I'm not good enough, so you know, what's the point, right? Just things like that. So when things become more aligned, it's so much easier to just choose the more conscious options. And that's normally what happens. And when all these subconscious blocks are released, you naturally, even if like, let's say you have held on to a lot of weight, even that begins to drop. Because not only are you releasing subconscious 
burdens, you are also mm -hmm. consciously choosing the better food, which will naturally lead to weight loss, right? So conscious eating is, is very important because it's also like a way to tune in to see where you are spiritually as well because if you are more drawn and more easily able to choose those foods it's showing yourself that there's an inner peace and an inner connection to you and it's 100% easier to go for something that nourishes you because you feel nourished within yourself. So it's like a reflection, a mirror, basically. So you become what you eat, right? And what you eat is a mirror, like, you know, like you become that, but it's also showing you who you are, like it's, it's a reflection. So that's all I wanted to say on that. Uh, if you like the video, please click like. And thanks for listening. See you soon.